So glad you're streaming with us. Well, all she wanted to do was teach her class about race in America. Instead, she says she was censored. For 14 years, Mary Wood has been a teacher. But last spring in Chapin, South Carolina, she assigned her all-white AP English class and composition class, rather, readings from Ta-Nehisi Coates' Between the World and Me. Well, that book detailed the experience of being black in America, slavery, and the legacy of segregation. But Wood says her assignment didn't last long. Wood says students complained and went straight to the school board, saying that the book made them feel ashamed to be white and that it violated a South Carolina rule that actually forbids teachers from making students feel guilt or anguish on account of their race. Well, as the story goes, you know, the result says that Mary says she was told to throw out her curriculum. And of course, the story drew both national and polarizing attention, declaring Mary either a martyr or a monster. And Mary was horrified and says that she never should have been censored for just teaching truth. Mary joins me live in studio as we continue our week-long focus on education, looking into American classrooms and how curriculum helps students learn about the world. So glad that you are here with us. Thank you I, for having me. And everything that you've been through, I, and, and what's amazing is that you are back at the school. Yeah. You are still going to teach this class. That's right. Are you going to teach race? Um, yes, I, I say this regularly. If you cannot teach with an integrity, or if you cannot do your job with integrity, then you cannot teach or do your job. So I intend to follow my curriculum from last year, yes. So you'll stay with the same, same curriculum, the same book, the same way you wanted to do it last time around? Yes, that is my intention. Um, I can't imagine why that would be problematic. Uh, the book was not banned from the district, and so it is still uh, school property, and it's still in our book room, and I intend to teach it. Yes. Interesting. Okay, so tell us what district officials told you. Um, I, I really did not hear much from district officials. I was told to stop teaching this book. Uh, was it the principal of the high school who told you to stop teaching the book? Yes, I mean, it came down to, that was the person who was the vehicle for that message. I'm not exactly certain who made that final call, um, but I know that, that that is how the message was relayed to me. And what was the reasoning? What were the reasons you were told you couldn't teach race with this book and the way that you wanted to do it? So if you, there's a lot of FOIA-able information and the rationale that I picked up on whenever I saw those documents was that uh, children were made uh, to feel ashamed to be white for learning about systemic racism and that can be a violation of South Carolina's budget proviso. And had you heard of that before? Uh, there are a lot of provisos in education, and we are pretty much unfamiliar with most of them. But to say that a student can't be made to feel uncomfortable means that they cannot be made to learn either because you don't learn inside of your comfort zone. You have to step outside of that. And uh, there was no intention to make anyone feel guilty or to make them feel ashamed of their race. The intention was to offer a different perspective with which they were unfamiliar and to have them uh, understand that perspective, research that perspective, and then come to their own conclusions about what, uh, in this case, Ta-Nehisi Coates' argument is in that book. Right, and, and John Lewis ta taught us for many, many yeah. years, unless we feel uncomfortable, we're not learning. Yes. And we're not coming to grips um, with, with the facts of, of, of our past, with segregation and with slavery. So did the students ever come to you and say, you know, Miss Wood, I'm just feeling a little uncomfortable. I'm feeling white shame. I'm, I'm feeling guilt. This is really tough. Can we talk about it? Did anybody have the guts to come to you and, and, and talk to you about it? No, not one person came to me directly, which would have been lovely. The thing that was disappointing about that was that there had been this beautiful culture that was familial uh, that we had crafted in my classroom. Students didn't always agree, but they were able to have discussions uh, challenge each other and then walk away respectfully, joking around. Um, we had, you know, parties. I offered them all of the accolades. I made them breakfast casseroles. I mean, it was, it, it couldn't have been a safer environment. And so the lack of, like, you know, letting me know that there was a problem um, was disappointing because I felt like I was someone that they could trust. Uh, and I certainly trusted them, you know, if, 
so yeah, nobody ever said anything to me. And you know, clearly when you tell the story, it 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 sounds like you were censored, and that created mm -hmm. a lot of outrage. Yet the the school district says, no, we we support our teachers. We would would we would not censor them. Um, right. We we encourage all viewpoints. But it doesn't sound like that's what you were encouraged to do. You know, I don't know if that is a retroactive idea, if that makes any sense. Uh, teachers have to be supported and we have to be trusted. We are experts in what we do. Uh, that definitely pointed to the f idea that that is not the case. Um, this year, there has been more uh, insistence that teachers should be trusted and that we should be supported. I haven't seen it play out negatively for me, um, but it's still early in the school year. I'm hoping that things don't revert to last year's circumstances. And I don't know what other teachers are experiencing because a lot of teachers are unlike me who will, you stand know, like kick and scream and, you know, stand up. Yes, exactly lean into my merits and my integrity. And not, not to say that those teachers don't, but I think that there are a lot who are more willing to acquiesce to what is expected of them, even if what's expected of them is not ethical. Well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna follow up. We wanna know how this school year goes. Yeah. Will you keep in touch with us and Absolutely. let us know what happens? I would be happy to. We will follow thank up. Thank you for having me. Mary Wood, thank you. Yeah, All yes, right. thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.